uh, welcome guys so today we will be discussing about like as we said like we will be starting giving training on linux device driver so in this video we will be basically discussing about like what are the different topics we are going to cover during this training program so welcome to all of you on the board so this is our course outline so these all topics are related to linux device java training program side by side we will be also discussing about kernel topics so that i will cover in different slide so first topic as you can see like uh, introduction to linux kernel in which we will be discussing about like what is the linux kernel architectures what is the role of linux kernel in uh, linux os so this is a chapter for the beginners who are very new to linux or they have some basic idea about linux so this is just to you brief overview to the people who wants to revise or who just wants to learn about the basic architecture of linux kernel and linux os in the second chapter we will be discussing about uh, kernel configuration and build like how we can download the kernel from kernel.org and uh, how we can configure the kernel for different platforms what are the options available for configuring the kernel third chapter we will be discussing about device driver like what is device driver what are the role of device driver in the operating system how device driver interacts with the hardware how it manages the hardware in the next chapter we will be discussing about what are modules in linux device driver and what exactly the modules mean why linux introduced the concept of modules and what is the importance of modules in the our linux os and the next chapter we will be covering like basic character driver like what are the basic component of a character driver how we can write a basic character driver so in this chapter we will be writing one skull driver skull character driver basically in the sixth chapter we will be discussing about input output control like what is input output control what type of actually means how requests are passed from user space to the kernel space how requests are handled in the kernel space how we implement ioptals and what exactly the use of ioptal in the real scenario in the seventh chapter we will be discussing about module parameters like how we can pass different parameters among multiple modules and how to handle the external parameters in our drivers in the 8th chapter we will be discussing about memory management in the driver like what are the different way of allocation or deallocation of the memory and what are the uses of each type of allocation of memory and what is the difference of each type of allocation of the memory and after having this knowledge we can go to kernel debugging techniques we will be learning like what are the different debugging techniques possible in the market what are the different debugging debugging techniques available in the market if there is any kernel issue or issue related to our driver so after that we will be discussing about interrupt handling in the drivers like how we can handle the interrupt if our device is handling some interrupt or generating some interrupt then how we can write and handle for that in our driver what are the various concerns writing in the driver what are the things we need to handle what are the things we need to think before writing a interrupt handle these all things we will be discussing after that we will be discussing about synchronizations in drivers as there might be scenario like in our driver we have resources which might be shared by multiple application at the same time so because of sharing at the same time there might be scenario of inconsistency of data or bad log situation to avoid that we use different kinds of synchronization techniques 
so these all techniques we will be cover like what are the different techniques available in the kernel these all things we will be discussing in detail let's go to the next slide so in the previous slide whatever we have discussed that all was related to linux device driver basic concepts and as our driver closely interact with the linux kernel so it's must i think to understand what exactly the kernel subsystem is and we should have basic concepts or basic knowledge about the kernel subsystems so we will be discussing about different kernel topics parallelly with the linux as our training so first chapter will be process management after that we will be going to process scheduling what are the different scheduler mechanism in available in the linux what scheduler we use actually how process are scheduled how we manage the scheduling in linux kernel after that we will be discussing about sys codes what exactly the sys codes is how we handle it and what are the role of sys codes in our system and in the fourth chapter again we will be discussing about interrupt handling like what are top half what are what are bottom half what are the different techniques of each and after that we will be discussing on memory management like how memory are shared between user space and the kernel space what are the different mechanism available how kernel manage the memory internally what is base table the old concept we will be discussing about in this chapter after that in the next chapter we will be discussing about kernel synchronizations as i have already said in the last presentations kernel provides us various way of synchronizations so that all concepts of synchronization we will be discussing about this chapter and after that the last topic is kernel timers like what are the various timers available in the kernel how we can put a delay in our drivers what are the various way of having delay in our process and all these things so we will be discussing about all these concept in kernel topic discussion so after completion of this training we will be having basic knowledge about linux device driver and linux kernel so we will be prepared to understand any of the driver we will be prepared to get expertise of any of the driver so at the end of the driver we will be discussing about two multimedia driver one is android camera driver another thing is hdmi 103a drivers so we will be discussing about android camera architecture from application layer to our hardware layer in hdmi also we will be sharing like uh, what exactly the hdmi 103a what are the mechanism is used for transferring the data from source to sync what are the structure we maintain the all things we will be discussing in this hdmi architecture presentation <coughs> so after having knowledge of architecture of any of the driver you can start working on the hardware and you can use your architecture knowledge to port your driver onto the new os or new hardware and you can work accordingly and you can proceed accordingly so that was the presentation on linux device driver training if you have any question or query you can always reach us on www.toringstudy.com and we have also created one open forum on which you can post your questions we will be soon replying to that questions so we will be waiting for your response if you like our training presentations you can send us reply so that we will be start sending next presentations to you thank you thanks for listening bye